I guess the latest piece of news is, is what we reported uh, on Tuesday, that George Lucas, who, who sold his, uh, his production house to Disney for stock, is coming out and saying, Bob's the man. Does that carry weight for you? 100%. I mean, George Lucas is like one of the geniuses of Hollywood. And Bob Iger, who you know I've met and, and talked to many times, is is like one of the best CEOs in like America or maybe the world, but also one of the best CEOs in Hollywood. And like getting this deal yesterday with ESPN and in, in, in college sports, getting Taylor Swift on the platform, you know, these are the the Bob Iger effect that people like Nelson Peltz who just like do financials, he should worry about Ben and Jerry's and Unilever versus getting involved with companies like Disney and Hollywood, which are really, really hard to understand how to make money in Hollywood. Very, very few people ever have, and Bob Iger is one of them. So so we support him 100%. He's a great person, a great leader, and, and, and George Lucas as well, one of the great creators of our time. Basically, everybody supports Iger except Pelts. And his former CFO, who right. would have known how to make money in Hollywood before. And I'm, I'm actually okay with replacing one of the board members with Joe Rasulo, especially somebody like Mary Barra, who has no reason to be on the board of directors at Tesla. So, like, I, I don't think Disney. it's a horrible thing to have one board member switched for one of their picks, especially Joe. But, like, in general, Disney's doing well right now, and they're doing everything they need to do to fix the business. Just real quick, I think you said Tesla, but did you mean you meant Disney? Disney, yeah, I'm sorry. No, I know. Elon's on your mind a lot at the moment. I, I get well, it. You know, uh, let, let's, times a day. Let, let's not go there, Ross. Let, let's, let's not go there. Let's stick with Disney. Um, we're speaking so much about a proxy fight and an activist investor battle that actually I don't think we've got any real good sense on how things are going at Disney because the accusation from those that want change, like Nelson Peltz, is it's not going very well, right? That's why they want change. But, but what do you feel about the performance of Disney's streaming business, its studios and its parks? Well, that's not the vibe I'm getting. You know, and I, I live here in Hollywood and, you know, have deep connections through the entertainment industry. You know, Disney and Hollywood is going through a major retrenchment now on what they're spending on streaming and what they're spending on shows and, and what content's being made. And it's not just Disney, it's it's Netflix and many of the other players are really looking at profitability now and with the ad supported streaming services. But but Disney streaming service is doing just fine. You know, Shogun is a great show. It's the number one show out there. If you haven't seen it, um, amazing show. They've got really Taylor good. Swift on, on the platform. You know, so Disney Plus is doing well. ESPN is making all the right moves they need to make to move into the next stage for its growth. And Parks and Resorts is great as well. They just need to make some good movies. That's the only thing. And the, the best person to make good movies is Iger and his team. There is nobody else that I would trust doing that. Or they can just license Aries Tour, which got 4.6 million views on Disney Plus, apparently, in its first weekend. So go with, go with the hits. But... Ross, I am interested in the successor. Eventually, as much as you love Bob Iger, he's got to go in 2026. Who do you like? Well, you know, the truth of the matter is I've been around since the Eisner era, so until he's actually gone, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I believe somebody's replacing him because, you know, Bob Iger's in phenomenal shape. And, and you know, if Joe Biden's running for president, certainly Bob Iger can run Disney for another 10 years. Um, but that said, you know, I, I'm really, really partial to, you know, some of the teams that have worked with them in the past and, and you know, especially people who've worked on, on Disney Plus and, and some of the other things. So there, there are many executives that they're talking to, uh, you know, that I have a lot of faith in that could replace them. But I, I still think it's really up for grabs. And right now I'm happy I, uh, Iger's still there, you know.